out and why do I need to vote? I ain't never heard nobody tell me what you just told me. So thank you. Thank you for yeah. that information. There's, there's a population of people out there that actually care, but they're like, okay. they don't know. Who okay, well, them? then we can educate them. I don't have a problem educating them. But I'm talking about the people that be like, they just don't want to vote. And I know some in my mm-hmm. family personally, so hopefully you don't get offended. I just can't. And I told them, don't talk to me. We can't have a fruitful conversation. If you didn't take the time to go for well, it. But anyway, well, one I, good thing that they changed, which was a good thing, is that now um, in the primary, if you're a Democrat, Republican, blue, green, liberal, Terry, whatever, that you can cross over and, and um, vote for whatever uh, category party that you want. So let's say if you're a Republican and you, you're interested in the Democratic uh, person that's running for the Democratic position, you can vote for them. If you're Democrat okay, wait. and you're interested in a Republican that's running for um, the for president, you can cross over. You don't have to. Cause before they said that you couldn't do that, but now you can cross over. There's paperwork that has to be done, but it can be done in the same setting as you going to the poll. You don't have to okay. change it ahead of time. Okay, and I just need to clear. I just have to clarify because we went to a class yesterday, so I just want to clarify in this particular election that we're having, uh, March third, uh, nonpartisan. We were told yesterday we were taught we had a class. We have to sit in a six-hour class, six to eight-hour class. Okay, and in this election, and you you can vote nonpartisan, and it's Democrat, uh, American Independent, and Libertarian. Um, that's the only ones in this election. In this particular election, the Republicans did not open it up for people to cross over. So I just wanted to let you know again. I don't know why, but hey, we're going to leave it there. So the primary election is March 3rd. So please go out and vote. Um, you can also go to lavote.net. To, if you want to be a poll, you know, click on poll worker information if you want to be a poll worker. And as Miss Vicky was saying, if you guys didn't know, I'll turn it over to Miss Vicky. She can add to that. But we, we, it's going to be new. It's going to be new 2020. It's going to be much easier. It's not going to be like it was before. And Miss Vicky, you want to share about that? Well, well How, basically, I, was, I wanted to share about the fact that if you – are looking for an opportunity to make a couple of extra dollars, um, oh, yeah. this election is going to be um, going for 11 days. They're allowing people to yeah. come out and vote at polling places, which they call them voting centers now. Um, yeah. You can go to those locations and vote, and you have 11 days to vote. The last day is the actual biggest day, the major day, which is a Tuesday, as, like as usual, that we normally vote. So March third, the money, the money part. Okay, the uh, it starts the twenty second of February. Yeah, and yeah. ends March third. The March third. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, March thirty is third is a Tuesday. The twenty second is a Friday is a Saturday in February. Yes. Yeah. Um, the other thing is is um if you want to make money. Um, I'm not sure if you can work more than six days, but I know that I've talked to people that are able to work up to six days. I'm not sure if you can work more than that, but they're giving people an opportunity to work six days um, at the polls, and they're paying pretty decent. Also, um, they're paying mostly everyone for training, depending on a position that you work. I'm not sure about the pay for training, but I know most people are getting paid for training. Um, so that's a nice little check, you know, students, you know, I, when I was in college, I worked the polls all the time to get extra money. Um, and then you have people that just need the extra, need extra money, you know, that have jobs that aren't in school. Um, you know, so anybody or any, you have people that are unemployed. Um, all you have to be is 18 or older. Um, even if you haven't registered to vote, you can register to vote on the day that you, that you, um, vote. So I'm pretty sure that's, that's not a criteria. That's new. You, you know, you can register yeah. to vote. As soon as you, you know, when you start working, you just be like, oh, I need to register to vote. So don't worry about that part. Um, so anyway, if you're interested, contact us. 
on uh, social media outlets that DJ Diva will share with you, and um, we'll give that information to you. Or you can just contact the register recorder office, and they show they will direct you. But if you want a direct number, you can contact us. We do have that information, and this is for yeah. LA County. And yeah, so I can give you the email right now. Okay, LA go vote ahead. LAVote.net. Go there and get all the information you need. Oh, do okay, you have and the then phone I have number? another. Do you have the phone number? Not handy? the phone number. Yeah, the phone I'm number that they can call. Oh, huh? man. No. Um, I, was I just got giving it. Them the, I can give it to them. I was really wonderful. Quick. Thank you. Those of you who are listening to this kind of my way, if you're interested, <laughs> that um, I'm almost there. If you're interested, you can call the polling place and ask, tell them that you're interested in working. And that number is um, 800 815 2666. Again, the number is 800 815 2666. So you call that number and they will help you with working if you want to work and also you don't have to work six days you can say oh I only want to work one day or I want to work two or I want to work three whatever the case may be you can discuss that with them and they'll work with you and then they'll set you up on a training because you have to go to training in order to work cold even if you worked them before okay I'm done thank you Miss Nikki you're welcome uh, you are, that's I love giving and then we gotta get on our show I know you do uh a few more resources that we got to give to our show because time is going fast. Uh, another resource is Breaking the Chain Community Festival, a car show. It is a partnership between Forgotten Children Incorporated and their teaming up with the city of Linwood, California, and Compton Human Trafficking Task Force. The event is Saturday, January 25th, 2020, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Linwood City Park which is located at 11301 Bullets Road, Linwood, 90262. There will be vendors, raffles, food, games, health screenings, free giveaways, and more. For more information, contact, I'll give you the contact number, is 800-445-1326, or visit the website at www.forgottenchildren.org. We just love sharing about things that are going on in the community. That is just awesome. Uh, what else? Real quickly, before we go into our recap, you can uh, reach us on uh, YouTube. Subscribe. Once again, please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube page, DVM Tunnel Vision. Uh, also, we are on Twitter under Divine Victory Ministries. We are also um, on Instagram. Oh, my bad. I said it wrong. Excuse me. Our Twitter is uh, D, hold on, DBM418. That's our hashtag. And then our Twitter account is Divine Victory Ministries, our small letters. And our Facebook is Divine Victory Ministries. Uh, we also have um, a Tunnel Vision page on our Facebook page under Divine Victory. When we mention Divine Victory, it's all connected. So we just one big happy family. Now we're gonna get down to oh football, 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 football. Me and Miss Lee like football. Okay, we cannot go on without talking about football. Okay, look at here. Remember how Miss Vicky said you gotta be happy or whatever she said earlier. Excuse me, smile, whatever. Okay, I'm very irritable. I'm very irritable, but I know I to come on and do a show, so I'm gonna be happy. Go lucky. Okay, my team. Okay, first of all, my team Bingo. Okay. But I like to watch sports, and I'm just into the competitiveness. So once my team that I want is not there, then I just pick whoever and watch the game. So right now, the people that's in the playoffs, we in the championship now. The Golden State Bowl is this. I just got finished watching the game. Okay, so for the AFC champion, division championship game, which is next Sunday, is going to be uh, Kansas City Chiefs and the Titans. They will be playing next week. The NFC championship is going to be, oh, my God, it hurts me to even say it. Uh, The Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. So that 
is the result. So we're waiting for whoever going to win those two championship games out of the e- NFC and the AFC will be going to the Super Bowl. So I'm hoping that. I'm not pissed, the but Kansas I'm disappointed. Kansas, she said pissed. Okay, she's disappointed. Okay. I said I'm not Did mad. I'm not angry. I'm okay. not upset. I'm just disappointed. Okay. I wanted the Ravens to be in there if if the uh if the um Raiders wasn't gonna be in there or the or the Cowboys, I wanted the Ravens in there. Okay, well they fell off. So yeah, you I know, know but I, but even with that even though my grand thing oh, in there, shoot. Whatever, you know the forty nineers is my god my grandbaby's uh team. Yes, and your son's team, yes. Okay, no, that's fine. And I got a San Francisco hat sitting right up in here, but I only got it because it's red. And I went to Cal State Long Beach 49ers. Okay, but anyway. Oh, anyway, moving on. Okay. So we're going to see who's going to win next week. We'll be able to share I'm next Sunday. Sure that is two really good teams that play and that they give us a show. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. And I'm mad at you. There we go. No, you know. It ain't what I wanted, and, and whatever. As long as it ain't the Patriots. Yes, I'm Patriots to stand is me and, and forgive me for you, whoever is listening, and they're a Patriots fan. It's okay. Try again next year. Okay. Let's well, move on. I don't ask for their forgiveness. <laughs> because if the Patriots were here, it would be Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. So Vicky said oh, she had asked for your fans, yes, but yes. I'm just trying to be different. I'm just trying to be diplomatic. You know, usually I don't care, uh-huh. but I'm trying to be diplomatic. Okay. Okay, anyway, we we, right we started a conversation. Huh? Huh? I said moving right along. Yes, back to life, back to reality. Back Can't to reality. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay so last week we talked about who do you see in the mirror. So this week, Mara, Mara, hate, hate me, love me. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're going to continue self-esteem. So we already uh-huh. talked about, you know, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead mirror, Vicky. mirror, hate me, love me. I love that. That's good. I thought you liked it, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, Creative. you know, hate me, love me. So that means everybody don't, because, you know, the way I see that title, it's like there's somebody for everybody, and but at the same time, everybody don't like everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like well, you, see, you the, the, that, that statement, people. that statement, the eye, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder is so true. Because some something yeah. that I might think is beautiful might not be beautiful to somebody else. Somebody that I think is fine might not be fine to somebody else. Somebody that I think is eye Vicky. candy might not be eye candy to somebody else. You know Vicky. what I'm saying? So, Vicky. yeah. That's what I think that means. Okay, Vicky. Yes. Thank you for that perspective. And that's why I call you Dr. Vicky. But I'm going to tell you right now, that is not what I was thinking about when I, when I, when I presented that title. Okay, you don't take it to a whole other level, another perspective, and now you gave me something to think about. So you're giving me you your perspective. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Now I'm going to tell you mine. Okay. When I said, Mary, Mary, hate me or love me, it mm-hmm. was furthest from what you just said. You don't took you don't make oh, my mind so open up. What, what were you saying, man? You know, Mary, Mary, you know that uh, Snow White, Disney. You know, I sit in front of yeah, America. You said love me or hate me, but how come it didn't mean what okay, I said? Okay, 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 okay. Because you took it to a whole other level, which was wonderful. I just Man, when I it, when I thought, you sure did that. Shoot, sure. I'm thinking about I'm standing at America. We talking about self esteem. Mm-hmm. I'm standing in front of a mirror and I'm saying, Mary, 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 do you hate me or do you love me? Because mm-hmm. you're looking at the reflection of yourself in that mirror. Mm-hmm. So, but sometimes you look at the reflection of yourself from other people, too. Sometimes it's the mirror uh-huh. can be other people. You know what I'm saying? And because I think you, you see who to give me the perspective. When you yeah. look in the mirror, you're looking at yourself to see how you're going to look when you get out in the streets in front of other folks. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's when you're looking at the most people, now there are a few out there, you know, I can't say, we can never say everybody. We're not even supposed yes. to ever say never. However, yes, I do know that most people look in the mirror 